vax or not to vax? This is the question going on in parents' minds as children's COVID-19 vaccines are in the works. Pfizer and BioNTech announced on Thursday that they submitted their request to the Food and Drug Administration for emergency use authorization of the company's COVID-19 vaccine for children ages 5 to 11. This comes after the pharmaceutical company shared its findings from its clinical trials, stating the vaccine was safe, well-tolerated, and showed robust neutralizing antibody responses. But as Pfizer waits for FDA approval, parents are left to determine if they will let their children receive the shot. In a recent survey of parents with 5 to 11-year-olds from the Kaiser Family Foundation, 32% of parents opted to wait and see before allowing their kids to receive the shot. Meanwhile, 34% said they'd vaccinate right away, 7% said they'd vaccinate only if required, and 24% said definitely not. This especially rings true in Oconee County, as its schools have had zero enforced mask mandates throughout this current school year, leaving parents to decide if they'd like to take the next step in protecting their kids in the classroom. But for Oconee mother Ryan Fugit, the decision is a no-brainer. Fugit had her two children, ages 5 and 8, participate in Pfizer's clinical trials to help further the vaccine's development. We really ultimately decided to participate because our children wanted to. Um, they knew that they were doing something good. However, Fugit says she doesn't foresee Oconee reevaluating its COVID protocols, as support still remains for a mask-optional school environment. Oconee County mother Jennifer Coleman commends the school on their policies. With a visually impaired son, Coleman says wearing a mask in the classroom is not ideal. Um, he wears glasses, and so he's got a visual, a diagnosed visual impairment. So for him to actually have to wear a mask is very detrimental. Director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, Dr. Anthony Fauci, hopes that the Pfizer children vaccine will be approved by the end of the month. This could come after the FDA's meeting with an independent advisory committee on October 26th. Emma Robinson, Grady News Source.